Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have to talk about team of the season so far, Premier League, which came out today with insane stat boost, great value SBCs, solid objectives, and just a crazy overall day of FIFA with these cards that are now in packs. Um, the stat boost that EA gave these cards is incredible. For the second year in a row now, we had stat boosts that were higher on some of these team of the season cards higher than the team of the years that happened in the case of um one that i specifically think of today is kevin de bruyne and de bruyne is the one that everybody is talking about because of the stat upgrades that he got this card looks unbelievable he is club 90 um it's i don't know how many cards we've had in foot history that are club 90 that means statistics in the 90s all around the card but they gave de bruyne a plus eight uh, defending boost to bump his defending up to 90. So this card is absolutely unbelievable. Uh, the most expensive card in the set. And it got an insane boost like all these other cards did today. And this was just a huge day on foot for a lot of reasons. And um, a lot of these prices are pretty insane as well. So we're going to talk about the content that came today, the cards, of course. Um, we're going to look at the SBCs, the objectives, and then also trading. There were a ton of coins to be made today as well. A lot of stuff went up. Some stuff went down though. I want to talk about why. I want to talk about the fluctuations of this and then what you can expect to see on Saturday of um, Team of the Season so far, Premier League. This is the most hype week of, 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 this, of, of Team of the Season. And you can tell EA was out to grab the bag today with this team that they put in packs. The stat upgrades, again, Mane has all 90 stats except for defending higher stats than his Team of the Year card. Um, technically Robertson has better stats than his team of the year with, uh, a plus one physical plus one dribbling on his team of the year. Um, and then we had some other insane upgrades. This Richarlison, I don't think anybody saw Richarlison getting a team of the year, a season. He got a sweet card. Um, Rashford got in as well. So they even, they even boosted some weak foot today. Weak foots, I guess you could say a four star weak foot on Rashford, uh, which made this card, this is another thing I want to talk about. Look at this rebound, man. First couple hours in packs, Rashford is 800K. The man eventually goes up to 1.1 mil, which where he is now. The four-star weak foot is huge uh, in this game, especially if it would have been a five-star. It would have been massive. But to be honest, I just want to talk about this for a second. I'm glad they didn't give Barty a five-star skill weak or five-star weak foot. I'm glad they didn't boost those weak foot skills all the way. I think they boosted Adama Traore as well. I'm glad they didn't boost it all the way like they did for foot birthday because that would have made foot birthday seem a lot less important. And we did still see some of those foot birthday cards rise today in price because of that. The, the like Rashford, we got a Rashford today, right? He still has a three star weak foot on this left mid card. His striker card, which has lower statistics, has a five star weak foot. So it makes it a little bit more valuable in that striker position uh, and is actually 1.3 million coins where this team this season card is 870k. So I'm glad that EA didn't go all out with those upgrades because that would have kind of made the foot birthday promotion seem kind of overlooked or just not worth it at all. But regardless, EA went all out with the stats. They went all out uh, money grab with the squad, in my opinion. Wabasaka getting in. The only way I think they could have made it more, um, you know, friendly to the FIFA user, ba user base in terms of like cards that we just want to see in foot. I think a lot of people would have loved to see the Bruno Fernandez, who I thought was really going to get in. But based on my prediction... I got a decent amount of these right. I did not have Richarlison, Kovacic, Wambisaka, um, or Allison in the team. So I missed four from my original prediction that I made a couple days ago on the channel. But that's besides the point. Besides that team that we got today as well, we got one of like the best value SBCs. Uh, team of the season is, I mean, we this is the best value SBC of team of the season so far. Uh, legitly so far this team this season 83 84 and 85 rated squads for a end game center defensive mid in and diddy uh, this is a no-brainer i think medium high work rates you could even play him at center back uh, this guy be, would a, be a fantastic center back as well with those work rates and with those statistics so i would highly recommend doing this if you're not going to do it right away there's probably going to be upgrade packs he's out for five days so you're going to have a chance to craft this if you will over the next five days. That was actually the only SBC that we got today. We did not get another uh, community challenge. We did get two objectives though. And that car design that was entered into the code last night late. 
that we thought was a team of the season moments or a team of the season nominee. It was a team of the season moments, which is kind of weird that they would use that card design, but it is what it is. And it's just, you know, an okay Ayo's Perez. Pretty easy to do on squad battles. If you want to get this card for SBC fodder, if you play squad battles during the week, that's pretty grindable. Not the best, but it's okay. And then Raul Jimenez, a lot of people are interested in doing this because as you can see, his statistics are insane. Not a, not a card that really fits the meta, but a cool one, right? Interesting. The only problem is you have to score and assist in eight separate rivals wins using Premier League players with a four-star weak foot. So that's going to be the objective that'll take a bit of time. The other three won't be that hard. So Raul Jimenez, I'll let that I'll let you decide that for yourself, whether you're uh, from Mexico or, or a Wolves fan. Um, but that's a cool card, and that's a decent objective, I would imagine. At least how that's how I see it. But I want to talk about these new Team of the Season cards and what happened when they came out on the market today. So what happened was, and it went really, really closely according to what I had figured was going to happen today. I had predicted a lot of low prices early on um, because of all of the saved up packs that were going to be open. And I was correct about that. The lowest prices for basically not all of these cards, but most of these cards was in the first, you know, hour to hour and a half, two hours of the promo. Some of the cards hit their absolute lowest right before the 125k or right during the 125k lightning round. But it was kind of that, you know, the first two hours basically of this promotion is when these cards were their lowest. And then after that, everything shot up really, really high in price in the buyback for basically the next hour or two after that, which is again, what we predicted yesterday. Um, a lot of the stuff boomed. This KDB card was 3.8 mil. He boomed all the way up and was selling at 4.3. So that's a 500 K rise. It literally happened in an hour. There were even more crazy, insane rises, right? Rich Harlison got a new card today. This guy was uh 1.5 mil during the lightning rounds. And uh, he boomed all the way up to like close to 1.9 million coins. I think right now he's 1.8, somewhere in the 1.8 range, 1.1785. So this guy boomed up 300,000 coins. That was a crazy rise. Uh, Vardy, of course, went from 845 to over a mil. So if you bought any of those cards, you're, you're looking pretty good right now. Are they going to go higher than where they were in that, you know, that boom standpoint? Like is De Bruyne ever going to get to 4.3 or 4.4 again? I don't see that happening on Saturday morning. I, maybe some cards rise back up a little bit. I'm looking at the team right now, late Friday night, because this is our, you know, one of those times where we look for possibly flipping these cards. You know, some people are interested because Salah went from 1.5 mil flat, uh, 1.45, all the way up to 1.8. And now he's back down to 1.57. Some people are like, yo, can I buy this at 1.5 and maybe flip it tomorrow at like 1.7? And I'm like, you know, maybe. There's a possibility those cards could do that. But I would look on a more lower tier and more affordable standpoint to do that. Because if you try to do it with a Salah, yes, the card is rare and you need less people to go and buy that to make the price increase. But you also have a lot of tax that you have to overcome. So if, if he does not rise, you're going to take a, a larger loss if you just buy one card. Now, are there cards that I think could rise into the morning on Saturday? I think Adama is going to be the Treor, or not the Treore, the Moses Simon of last week with Team of the Season um, community. Because what happened with Adama happened exactly today with uh, Mr. Moses Simon. So um, this guy was extinct at 600,000 coins. They updated his price range. People ended up buying him um, at a really high price. Yeah, he was 600K. And they updated his price range. He went up to like 800,000 coins, 900K. And has now been dropping ever since then. And he's now at 470. He's literally not stopped dropping. Um, and I think this card is going to rise back up in the morning. I think this is the only one that I'm interested in flipping tonight, personally. Um, you know, Henderson was 750, 760. If he gets back underneath 700K, that would be a card I would be partially interested in. But a lot of these really expensive guys, I don't want to touch them yet. Uh, I would mostly look at the guys that most people can afford um, if you want to try to do an overnight flip. Adama, to me, 470. I don't know how much lower that's going to go uh, because that guy, he did get a pa he did get packed a lot today. Um, and it's interesting that he's fallen this low because he was extinct at 600,000 coins. And now he's 470,000 coins. So that's a pretty interesting drop in my opinion. Uh, looks like he's kind of hanging right there right now. And this is kind of where Moses Simon was almost his cheapest 
last time around. So I'm really, really watching this card because I think he could very easily be back to, you know, maybe 520 or 530. And if I can see him, if I could get this at 450, I would feel really, really safe about that. So I'll start watching some bids, maybe see if I can snag one or not. Um, and we'll see what happens with uh, with Adama Traore. But that's the only card that I would think about maybe trying to flip into the morning on Saturday morning. The rest of the stuff I think is going to just rise minimally and it wouldn't go too much. Or I just don't feel like I know if there's enough hype for a card like that. Maybe Rashford, because Rashford went from 800k flat all the way to 950 and now he's back down to 869. If I saw Rashford at like 820, maybe I'd buy him, but I would not really mess with a lot of that stuff. That's really risky. The stuff that is was really, really banging today, and this is what I was stressing to you guys all week long, was out of packs, Premier League, special cards that are meta, right? And we actually learned a little bit more today. The cards that went up the most, I did a little bit of research. The cards that rebounded the most today from either the panic selling in the morning or the low prices on Thursday were cards that actually got team of the season items, right? So Aubameyang, this card on, on Wednesday and Thursday, I told you guys was a fantastic pickup at 285, 290, even 300,000 coins. He went up 100,000 coins today back to 400K. I sold one at 407, one at 391. Um, this sun card, I bought both of these for like 560 and 565. Those were great sales. I bought all of these at 300 K sold most of them for right around 400,000 coins, 370, 380, all these Mares cards, which all of these guys got into team of the season today. They all had team of the season cards. And the reason why I picked these cards is because I thought they, they had a chance to get in. And what I noticed from last year was that a lot of cards that had tots items got in They're They're, um, their lower tier special cards rebounded really, really well. And that happened again today as well. So we're going to keep an eye out for that next week. And that's what I'm really, really going to focus on is cards. It's, it looks like it's going to be Serie A next week, by the way, not Bundesliga. That's what I'm hearing. Serie A next week, which is just an interesting thought. I don't know if that's true yet or not. We'll worry about that later in the week. But this is something to remember for next week, buying special cards that have other, that are possibly going to get it into Serie A tots. So uh, we'll have to look and do some research later this week. But for the next league, whatever happens, this Tamori was an, an exception. Uh, he was 370K yesterday, uh, and he rose up 100,000 coins today. That was a fantastic investment. I made well over a million coins on the day, and I still have a lot of stuff selling, um, a lot of informs. Some of the stuff didn't rise as well, and I want to talk about that as well. Telemans, I was really happy with this guy. I got a couple at 170 this morning. I got a couple Wynaldums at like 275. I thought he was going to go over 350, maybe even, you know, 350k with the other rises that we had today. But what really hurt some of these midfielders in the prem was the Ndidi SBC because so many people are going out and doing Ndidi because it's so cheap. And that's why you saw some of the midfielders in the prem today not go up as much because there was just people going out and instead of having, you know, to buy a 300k wine all them, they went out and they did 150k SBC for a new team of the season player. Same thing with Trent Alexander-Arnold. He didn't really go up much today, so there wasn't a lot of profit to be had in that. And I'm flipping some other cards as well. I think I showed you guys this last night, but I went in deep on um, my favorite team of the season so far, community card, um, Moussa Dembele. I bought 25 of him at 65K, uh, and I'm gonna actually try to ride that one out for maybe a couple of weeks until League on Tots. I think he could very well be 100,000 coins by a time frame. French uh, striker, the French links are going to really come in clutch around Liga and Tots. So we'll see if I end up holding those that long, but that'd be a massive investment if I could hold that long, put, you know, a million, 1.6 million coins into that basically. And I'll just kind of sit there and hold them. So we'll see what happens with that. But um, there was a lot of stuff that went up again on the market today. I had a fantastic day. I feel like I couldn't have done much better with some of the cards that I, that I bought and that I made profit on today. Uh, like I said, I definitely made over a million coins. I had so many flips that were around 100k um, up in price that all of those added up were definitely over a million coins. If I would sit down and really do the math, um, I would guess somewhere in between like the 1.2 to 1.3 mil range with the stuff that I have left to sell. Um, yeah, that'd be, I mean, those were, it was a really, really good day for me. Now I know some of you guys, it wasn't the best. And some of you guys maybe even made coins from flipping the new team of the season cards. Um, like maybe not Traore, but some of these other guys on the market, like Vardy went up so much. If you just bought them during the first lightning rounds, like we talked about, a lot of that stuff did 
go up today. But I want to focus on what you can do from here on out in the next couple of weeks because there is some stuff going on in the market right now that makes me interested in investing. And that is a great thing called a club stock. Because if somebody told you to buy high rated fodder and um, that it was going to go up today, I mean, I don't know who would tell you that because that is definitely not the case. I had a couple of people say to me, hey, why didn't fodder rise today? Well, I can tell you why it didn't rise today. We had so many saved packs that were opened and we had so many lightning rounds opened as well. The 100,000 coin lightning round at 7 p.m. UK went in two minutes and 100,000 packs were released. Two minutes. There's going to be more lightning rounds open today on Saturday, but we are in club stock territory and I don't like to take any risks with fodder these days because so many people like to invest in this stuff and sometimes it doesn't even go up for SBCs. That's why I don't like to just go unassigned, fill my transfer list and go really hard into fodder. I just like to throw it in the club, buy one, put it in the club and store it there for whether I need it for an SBC or until it rises crazy high and I want to sell it and make profit off of it. That's what the greatness and the the flexibility that a club stock gives you. That's what I think you guys can do right now. De Young at 7K, man. Are you serious? Frankie De Young is 7,000 coins. Some of these um, really good 85s and, and like cards that are SBC fodder, but they have crazy good links. How is De Young 7K, man? This card is never 7,000 coins. This is the type of SBC fodder card that is always one of the most expensive uh, because of his Barcelona links um, on the market. And I think Barca players are like selling for 7K right now anyway because of the SBCs. So that's a huge buy in my opinion. But just go through, go literally go down this list, stock one of each in your club from 84s on up to 89s or 90s, depending on how many coins you have. If you're on a limited budget, I would start with 84s, 85s, maybe do a couple 86s um, and maybe a couple 87s. Because think about this, what we're going to be selling for later this week and what we're anticipating a price rise on this fodder is, Whatever SBCs they put out throughout the week, there are an Icon SBC that is in the game now, and that's going to be consistent um, demand for these high-rated fodder. Even though it's a mid-Icon upgrade, people are going to do it because it's an Icon upgrade. People just love Icons and doing those SBCs. That's why I think that, you know, doing a club stock of a lot of these is a perfect and, you know, great idea for later this week when we have more SBCs that come out. And of course, the guaranteed SBC that's going to come out at the end of the week. So I'm a huge fan of of stocking the club with fodder um, ASAP. I don't think I would wait any longer because there's going to be more lighting rounds today on Saturday. So yes, you could say that there could be some more supply. Um, but you know, I would expect another SBC today on Saturday as well. I would expect another player SBC of some sorts. Feels like a flashback kind of day. We haven't had a flashback SBC in a while. We had the moments to Haya. Um, I feel like it might be a flashback sort of Saturday. We'll see what they want to do. Uh, but I would expect a pretty decent SBC. They've been putting out pretty good content, I think, the past couple of days with Team this season. So I would expect maybe a flashback SBC. Some people think we might get a flashback Bruno. Some people say there's a flashback Harry Maguire that is coming, um, which I was glad did not come today because as you saw on my transfer list, I had those Tamoris and Kyle Walker center backs. And with that SBC coming, those cards probably wouldn't have rose. But Team of the Season cards, if you want to buy any of these, uh, I would seriously, unless you're going to try it in the short term and you're okay with taking a tax loss, I would not buy any of these cards right now um, unless you're going to do some sort of like short term thing because these cards are going to continue to drop in price in my opinion. And again, we're going to be looking at probably a Thursday sell time. Look at the supply on Salah, man. Look at that supply on the Salah. These cards are very supplied from all the packs that were open today. It's similar to Team of the Season community in the fact that these cards have a lot of, you know, cards actually visible on the market. This year, FIFA 20 is the year of supply. So we're seeing that during Team of the Season. Um, and I think that's going to be something throughout the week that we're going to have to watch too. But again, I really start to get in your mind. I think Thursday during Weekend League Rewards is going to be kind of our time to buy these cards. In my opinion, unless EA changes it up and they put the guaranteed SBC early in the week for these, which I don't imagine coming, uh, then we could have, you know, a, a mix up with those. But there's going to be a lot of people that want to buy these cards towards the end of the week as they go out of packs. And there's going to be a lot of people thinking about that. So it's going to be important. Uh, and we're going to talk about it here and, and look at these cards all week. But I do think Thursday is going to be the optimal buy time or 90% of these cards, because they're going to continue to get packed all week. There's going to be more content coming out. 
And um, yeah, but it is Premier League team of the season. Let me know in the comments down below what you did today. If you open packs, tell me that you got something good. I was able to pack some of the viewers on the live stream. That link is down in the description. I packed a, um, I packed a Richarlison today. I packed a um, Rashford today, two Robertsons, a Juan Bissaka, and who was the last one? I packed another one too. Uh, Henderson. We packed a lot of team of seasons today on the live stream through saved up packs. So that was pretty dope. Um, check that link again down below if you're interested in the Twitch live streams that I am on uh, multiple times per week. And if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.